This week on Comedy Hype News, CJ and Shade welcome veteran actress Terry J. Vaughn to discuss her new film, Open, and she shares that she's ready to get back on TV. All right, it's CJ and Shade with Comedy Hype News, and this week we have the legendary. You've seen her on the Steve Harvey show. You saw her in Don't Be a Menace, and also Friday, Miss Terry Vaughn is in the <laughs> 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 We got the food, the fist bump. Do people still do that? We corny, we do that. I was gonna say, this seems super corny, which is right up my lane. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We are so happy to have you here. Now, if y'all didn't know Terry, Terry directed us in our first movie. Yes. And they were terrible. We were terrible. Terrible actresses. It was our first movie, and I remember being <laughs> on set, and uh, we had the scene with DC Young Fly. Yes. Now, we had speaking roles for people. Yes. We had yes. speaking yes. roles. Yes. And I remember being on set, and me and Shade, we were sitting there, and we were just like, it was all the lights and these huge cameras. Yes. And, and Terry comes out and just like, all right, you guys ready? Let's go, Ash, we're like. Yeah, we didn't have any time for rehearsals. <laughs> so we, we didn't have that much money. We didn't have time to rehearse. It's like, y'all gotta just go. But what was funny is because it was written for you guys to say individual lines. Like you had your lines, you had your lines. And then on, I think like the first take, you guys accidentally spoke at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. They say all their lines <laughs> together. Yes. And so that's how your characters ended up doing Terry that. Terry made us talk together in yep. every role. Terry yep. was like, say it together. I need you guys to be more in sync. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In sync. This should come natural funny. to you girls, right? Y'all are twins, right? Yeah. And we were that's like, what twins do. They, they say the same stuff all the time, right? It still streams. It does. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't say the name of it, though. So. Digital, digital Lives Matter. matter. Hashtag. Digital Hashtag Digital, digital Lives Matter. 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 Yeah. We, you have another movie coming out. Yes. Premiering soon. Yes. March so, 14th. Um, March 14th. A movie that we produced called Open. Mm -hmm. um, it's written and directed by my producing partner, Cass. Do you guys remember Cass? Yes. I remember Cass. She wrote Digital Lives Matter. Yes, too. I remember her. So this is her directing debut though. So we um, produced it um, through our company, Nina Holiday Entertainment, mm -hmm. um, along with um, Class and Sass Production, another female owned production company. Black you know, we're yes. all like black girl, female power yes. around these parts. Uh, so, and it stars Essence Atkins, um, Keith Robinson, uh, Matt Sedona. So, it's very sexy. Mm. It's really sexy. The trailer it's not is comedy. extremely sexy. Like, you know, I like to do the comedy shit. Mm -hmm. This is very sensual and sexy. So, it's giving you that, like, Love Jones type it's of... It's way sexier and hotter and steamer. Steamier. Steamier? Steamier. More steamy. Mmm. Mm. Huh? Very sexy. So talk to us about Open. You say it's about uh, open marriage. Yes. So um, Essence and Keith, they play a married couple mm -hmm. that decide that they're going to try to be an open marriage to keep their keep their marriage hot or whatever. And um, we follow their journey of doing that. When I saw the trailer, I said, I'm watching this. Yes. This yes. y'all nasty. But, yes, that, <laughs> that too. Now that as well. I said, well, I like these things. I'm watching yes, this. Yes. Well, in real life, how do you feel about open marriage? Um, I feel like if it works for you, to me, look, I've been married for 12 years now. Marriage, oh, is, fre marriage is freaking hard. So I'm like, do whatever you need to do for your marriage to make it last. If that's what works for you. Because that yeah. wouldn't work for me mm. because I'm just too possessive and mean. It's like, I would want to just, when I want to do that, it's cool. But then when I'm done, don't do that. If well, those are to. some of the rules, because <laughs> no. right? Doesn't it's it work like the knows. woman get to make the rules of how yeah. open marriage is supposed no. to go? You got to be fair. That doesn't seem fair. It seems fair to me. Yeah. If I, I personally, I have to. I personally these. think that men couldn't take it. Like that's true. I don't think my husband could take if I said I was going to sleep with somebody else. It's 
common nowadays, though. We see a lot more you know. couples in marriages that's that's open to the whole open relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Decide. Well, yeah. here's the thing. With open, I was excited um, because I saw that you were producing it. Yes. And knowing that you came from, you know, some of our classics as far as like the uh, Fridays mm -hmm. or Don't Be a Menace or even just the Steve Harvey show. Mm -hmm. You came from like that 90s era. Yes. And I feel like in today's age, we just don't get the same just oh in these movies um as in you're talking about just the just fun that same or feel. the, um, the like, content that that brings emotion out of us um you know where where we can really enjoy the movie it's just not the same content i think that we just had a different kind of connection i feel like now on tv like i feel like maybe Issa Rae does it with her show like it's you feel like you're a part of it or you feel like you're a part of the right. family. You feel like you can like really relate and you feel like that's somebody you could sit down with and chill with. Like yeah. when we would watch our shows, when we would watch the Steve Harvey show or watch uh, Jamie Foxx or the, like you feel like you could sit down with those folks right. and like really mm -hmm. relate. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's not a lot of TV like that anymore. I think we have to get more women like you to produce movies and write movies because you come from that era. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you do anything agree. different to bring that type of energy to? Um, I think that, I mean, I only can speak for me. It's like, I'm just myself. It's like, I always feel like I'm the home girl. I always feel like that. So even when, you know, when I was directing you guys, even when I'm directing people or working with actors, or um, just being a producer, I produce, direct everything from my heart, from my soul. I'm, that's who I am. So I talk to you that way. I don't change up how I relate to you. Mm -hmm. um, and even in my acting, it's like, you know, whatever character that I'm playing, I find the truth for me in it somewhere so that I can be relatable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'll continue to create content like that it's just getting the opportunities to get them on that is the struggle. It's good though because now uh, nowadays we have so much so many opportunities for us to own our own production yeah. companies and our own businesses mm -hmm. and to employ each other. I think Tyler Perry yeah. does a great job of that. He has set yeah. a great example. Um, however, his content sometimes, you know, it causes right. a lot of discussion, but mm -hmm. he's still employing us. So one thing I respect about your content, um, if you look, it, it, as far as for me, I think there's a certain agenda that's pushed through black men. Mm -hmm. um, and in your content, you're more so pushing the, the strong black men. Um, do you think I that- want somebody that's real. Mm -hmm. And this is, it's, it's like, that's why it's so important that we create content, that mm -hmm. we write our content, that we write our voices. Because if we're allowing outsiders, people that are not black, to write for black people, to write black men, to write black women, then they're doing it from a perspective that they have very limited information on mm -hmm. and that they have um, whatever their fantasy is. Mm -hmm. So they're creating from that standpoint. And I think that's a problem because you do get certain kind of roles that way. Terry, I do have what? a question. What is your dream role? I would love to, I want to get back on a television series. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to do another half hour comedy, but I want to do a single camera. I want I wanted to be more raw where we, I, my character can cuss and just be a badass. Maybe she does try to dabble with I, a, a open marriage or something. I just want something that's not so streamlined and so clean. I want something a little We need rough that. We need, yeah. I can see that coming though. That's coming back around. Insecure is kind of like that. I yeah. mean, it's on HBO, yeah. but it's yeah. kind of like that. I can yeah. see it coming mm -hmm. back. People that's what want, I want to do. raw, authentic content again. Yes. You know? Yep. I, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Let's put it out in the universe. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you gotta put us in there. I'm getting it. Put us in it too, Terry. I will. One, One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this week's comedian under the radar is Nigerian American stand up comedian who just released his latest comedy album, Mostly Kidding, across all streaming platforms. Let's take a listen. Like, for some black people, our first time at Trader Joe's, <laughs> that's a real big experience. <laughs> It's like our quinceañera, it's a coming of age. I had a suit on, my mom was with me. 
my dad walking down the aisle, he was like, son, these are vegetables. I was like, <laughs> held a squash in the air like baby Simba. It was... Be sure to check out his project and come back next week to find out who will be our comedian under the radar. Now, who, yeah. who do you want to work with that you haven't worked with? Well, I mean, I did, I did work with Will. He was in Will Smith in that executive producer standpoint. He was the executive producer of all of us when we were on that TV show. Mm -hmm. But I want to work on screen with him. Oh, because mm. he's just so fun. He's like one of the funnest, coolest ass guys, and just silly and fun and love life like me. I feel like we have that we do have similar energy. So I would love to work with him in front of the camera together. I can call Jada for you. Please do that. That's not, yeah, I'll, call do that. I'll call her for you. For now, I sure. see you just recently did the big chop. What made you do that? It looks really good on you. I love it. It does. Thank you, Dina. I, I don't have the courage. Yeah, and it, it was after, even after I cut it, I was still like, the great one have I done? It like, it took, it took at least four days. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna show the world. When I first cut it, I just stayed in the house for a few days. Really? Yes. Why? That was nervous. Like, you, you, who just said it? You just said it? If you said it, you said it too, because you guys are the same, <laughs> because you're twins. Um, that it takes, it's courage. So was that and, the point? Just to kind of? Well, on my 50th, I, I cut my hair back short, but I got in a relaxer. And because I was in, in the mindset of always like, oh, if I cut my hair short, I got to have a relaxer. I got to have a relaxer. I can't like have my short hair and not have it, you know. And so I got a relaxer and the shit started falling out. You said the shit started falling out. Because <laughs> I, 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 I hadn't had a relaxer in so long. Why are you guys laughing at my no, face? That is so not nice. I'm trying to have a really touching girlfriend moment with you guys and I'm share not, something. I'm laughing at how you said that. Me too. I'm just that is sharing. It's just so, and I hadn't had a relaxer didn't even come in back. so long. And so my hair was like, no, boo, don't do that. And hormones. I think hormones, like every, everything happens when you get older. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Ladies, I'm just saying, just, just take it from your big sister. Mm -hmm. Everything changes as you age. So you just take care of yourself. Do what? people still, when they see you, do they still address you as LaVita? Yeah. All the time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the time. Really? Yeah. What else do you get? I get Renee sometimes from um, Meet the Browns. Either Renee, it depends on how old they are. Mm -hmm. If they're under... Uh, if they're 30 and under, it's Renee. Mm. If they're in their 30s and up, it's LaVita. At work, Terry, I swear, like uh, when I would go to work, I still address like, when I had a female boss, I'd be like, hey boss lady. I walk in and she'd be like, why do you keep saying that? That used to be one of my favorite. I was just having a fan moment right now. Thank you. That was one, you were my favorite character. Thank Steve you. Harvey. It was a lot of fun. LaVita's great. She's awesome. She's fun. She won everybody over. She did. She looked awesome. I want to be her. We all did. Do you think you can channel that her. like in like a new TV series? Um, <laughs> um, could I? Yes, absolutely. But you know what you said? Uh, Lavita would have to grow up. It's like she still can be that same, like a 50 year old speaking in that really high voice. That could be, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have to find it. Who was that? What <laughs> happened to me? Where did that come from? I don't like you guys. I don't like this interview. I don't like you guys. I don't, I don't like this. What's happening? What's you up? love us, Terry. March 14th. I do. Open will be premiering. I'll close it out. On March 14th, open on BET, uh, starring Essence Atkins, Keith Robinson. Be sure to tune in. 8 p.m. I'm here with the Wonder Twins. They have power and they're gonna activate. <laughs> okay, go, sorry, close it out. <laughs> All right, and that's Miss Terry Vaughn with CJ Sade for Comedy Hype News. Be sure to catch March 14th, open premiere on BET. See you next week.